Hey guys, welcome back to another Electronics and More video. Today I'm going to show you what I believe is the best compact GPS tracking device for under 20 bucks. This GSM GPS tracker has been around for a while and has very high buyer satisfaction ratings. It's very easy to use and is perfect for securing to a large pet's collar, placing inside a child's backpack, inside shipments, on equipment, trying to catch people stealing packages from your porch, or securing to a vehicle. Let me first open this up to show you what you get, explain how it works, then I'm going to give you a couple quick demonstrations. Instruction manual. Okay, you're now looking at the contents of the box. Back here is the GPS tracker. Very small, I think with the battery in it, it weighs around 45 grams. This is your USB charging cable. This end plugs into the GPS tracker right here. You can charge the battery while it's inside the unit, or you can use this cable to upgrade the firmware. You have the instruction manual. There's also an AC mains charger. This is for the wrong country. I have an adapter. When you purchase yours, it should come with the correct plug. Simply plug the USB into this and then you can plug it directly into the GPS tracker to charge the battery. Included are two lithium polymer batteries. You have the external battery charger, connects up to this cable. You have a waterproof pouch. And if you're going to mount the GPS tracker on a metal object, they include this cover that has magnets. You would simply slide off this cover right here, and you would install this one. Now, I do not recommend using this cover. It sticks kind of well, but if you're going to want to use it for a metal object, pick up some new neodymium magnets, maybe 1 8 inch thick to half inch to 12 millimeters in diameter, and you're going to glue them into the four spots. Then you're going to have a really strong connection with the metal object. I would not trust the magnets on this cover. In order to use this GSM tracker, you're going to need a GSM SIM card. The SIM card is going to be the full size. You can get them like this. It goes from nano to micro to the standard size. And the plan that I have is very inexpensive. It's only around $7 a month, and that plan gives me talk, text, and data. It doesn't give me a lot of it, but it gives me enough to be able to track things. I'll post a link in the video description area for the plan that I'm using, as well as another one, and also where I purchased this tracker. Now this tracking device also has the ability to record a route. So if you don't want to call this device using SMS or use a real-time tracker, this can be used with real-time tracking. You just have to set up the GPRS. You're going to need the APN information from your cellular provider in order to set it up. I only use it for SMS and what's behind the SIM card is a slot for an SD memory card. If you wanted, you could have the device store the root history on that SD card as a GPX file, so later you can retrieve the GPS location data. Okay, let me now give you a closer look at the device, point out a few things. Put the battery in first, slide the cover on. All right, now let's take a look. Now right over here, hopefully you can see that, that little hole on top is a microphone. You can call this unit no matter where it is and hear everything that's being said right through this opening. Over here is your power on. You would push this and hold for four seconds. And once you do that, a green light is going to come on inside this hole. It's very hard to see. It's going to flash on and off, on and off. If this was given to a child in his backpack and something happened to him, all he would have to do is push this SOS button and hold it down for a few seconds, and the parent would receive a notification on their phone as a text message saying, help me, and it will provide the coordinates to where the child is, as well as a link to bring up a map. And that is the extent of this device. And right here you can see GSM GPRS network. Locate and monitor any remote target by SMS, app, or the internet. Advanced technology, GPS, AGPS, dual positioning, GSM quad band frequency, 
real-time tracking, low battery alarm, geofence. This is pretty good. So if somebody moves a package that's possibly on your front doorstep or a vehicle, you're going to receive a text on your phone letting you know that it's on the move. Very handy to have. The SOS alarm I explained a minute ago. If a person's in trouble, they can push that button and hold it down, and you'll know exactly where they are so you can help them. It has a monitor mode that lets you listen to conversations on the device. There's a vibration alarm, which I don't use. Add smart sleep save power mode. I don't use that either. Add GPX history route record. This is the one I told you before. You can save this on the SD memory card. So you can go back later and take a look at the route. Add a GPS function. Receive GPS signals faster. And it says built-in storage memory. And here's your dimensions. 65 millimeter. 46 millimeter by 17. Weight 35 grams. And when you put the battery in, it becomes like 48, I think, or 47. There's your network. There's the four bands. The GSM chip is the MT6261. Over here is your GPS chip, GPS sensitivity, accuracy. It says 5 meters. Testing that I did showed that it can come in much lower than that 15 feet. Time to the first fix. 45 seconds. So when you send a text message to this unit to get the GPS coordinates, it does take around 45 seconds. Sometimes it might take a minute, but you will get the coordinates so you can see exactly where the device is located. Up here is more information from the time to fix, warm status and hot, and your charging supply is 110 to 220, 5 volt output. This is your storage range for temperature, and this is the operation range. And you could use it between 5% humidity and 95%. Now over here it says LED indicator status. Green solid means no GSM signal. And if you see the green flashing like I do, it means you have a GSM signal. Now I'm not going to go over every little detail on how to set this up. But what I am going to do is show you quickly on my phone the different commands that I could send to the unit. And I'll show you how well it works. Okay, I have the GPS tracking device in a different room, so I'm going to send this code first. Check, 123456. And let's see how long it takes to come back. Alright, and you can see right over here, that's the GSM signal strength for the tracking device, 60%. GPS on. GPRS is off because I don't have it set up and the battery is at 68%. If you're wondering the standby time, the manual says 12 hours, but I had this thing fully charged a day and a half ago and it's been on standby ever since and was still at 68%. So you should get a few days before you have to charge it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to switch it to monitor. So let's do monitor. Let me copy that one. Copy. Let's go down here. Paste. So now it's monitor. We're going to switch the device to monitor mode. Okay. Now it's on monitor mode. So when I call the device by clicking right here, we're going to be able to hear everything that's being heard at that GPS tracking device. I'm going to place another phone right next to the GPS tracker, and I'm going to be playing one of my videos. Okay, let's give it a call. Put it on speaker. And you can see the audio was pretty good. Now I want to switch it back to Tracker. So I'm going to copy that. Let's go back to Tracker. Alright, so now we're all ready to track. So if I want to see the location of the tracker, I'm just going to go to this command here. Copy it. 
paste and then it's going to give me the link. It's going to take around 45 seconds to get it and I'm going to be blocking the latitude and longitude so you don't know where I live but it's going to supply a link that you can click on and it's going to bring you within 15 feet or 5 meters of where the device is located. There you go. Right here is your latitude and longitude and a link that you can click on to see the position on a map. Alright, now let me push the SOS button on the transmitter and you're going to see what pops up underneath this message. It should pop up any minute. There you go. Help me. And it gives you the coordinates and it gives you a link to click on for the map. And you're going to receive that same message every two to three minutes until you cancel it by sending a text message saying help me to the GPS tracker. Now I only showed you a few things but there are many other commands that can be used with that tracker. And as you just saw by the demonstrations it works extremely well. Now I did try another one that you're definitely going to want to avoid if you see it. It's these smaller type right here. They only take the SIM card. There is no memory card. There's no switches or anything on it. There's a couple of LEDs underneath this heat shrink on this end. And you do have a microphone sticking out. No matter what I did, I could not get this one to work. And I read reviews online and a lot of other people also had problems. And the instruction manual is horrible. It's telling you to set this up by pushing buttons. There aren't even any buttons on this unit. And look what this says. This is a big joke. Terminal SIM card. Do not pretend to be wrong. What are they talking about? And that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to check out my extensive video playlist for many other videos of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching.